Uh, hi. Uh, today I'm going to uh, uh, talk about um, uh, DP DPDK. Uh, so a DPDK is a data plan development kit, uh, uh, like a library to accelerate a packet. And uh, so it's a a uh, bypass uh, Linux kernel network uh, technology. So, uh, as you understand, like the Linux uh, network stack uh, has a lot of overhead and uh, for fast packet processing. So, uh, DBDK initially is uh, from Intel, and uh, which is to address the uh, Linux network overhead, uh, uh, which is bypass the Linux network overhead, kernel network overhead, and uh, and uh, uh, develop a user space uh, uh, driver, uh, network driver uh, for packet processing. So it, it can generates uh, millions of uh, packet per second. Um, so it has a lot of uh, uh, use cases, uh, like uh, um, you can send a packet uh, with a very short uh, CPU cycles, or uh, develop a very fast packet capture, and uh, and another uh, a lot of other applications. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, generate uh, millions of packet uh, per second. Uh, using uh, uh, using a DBDK uh, uh, sample application. So uh, this is a, a test PMD uh, is a DBDK application uh, based on the uh, DBDK network driver. And uh, so yeah, so uh, I'll show you how to use the, this application to send to uh, send millions of packet to another device uh, so yeah you can read the instruction here uh, this is to uh, by default uh, uh, keep uh, this application test PMD is to uh, forward the packet uh, you know uh, receive a packet and uh, Send the packet as a forward, uh, but in, in in today I'm only to use this use test PMD as a, a packet generator, basically just a send a packet, not receiving packet uh, to another device. Um, yeah, so here is a diagram uh, from Intel. Uh, see. Uh, um, Usually, when you test, uh, test P with when you use test PMD, you use a packet generator. Uh, send a send a packet from this port uh, to to a, a port zero on the test PMD, and then the packet will uh, come here. The test PMD will forward the packet here. Out to port one to port B. Uh, so that's the normal test case for test PMD. Um, but um, I'm going to use this example instead. I'm only to use it as a packed generator, as a, a diagram I can show you here. Um, So uh, today my test case would be uh, so this is a one this is a one of my uh, uh, box uh, in uh, Dell server it has a two 10G port uh, and uh, I will instead uh, today I will use test PMD uh, to uh, use the network bounding bound this two network interface as one network interface. So this is 10G interface, this is 10G, inter 10G interface. I will bound it as a, a 20G uh, interface. Then use test PMD 
to uh, uh, transmit the packet only, uh, basically just only uh, send it, uh, the packet, uh, millions of packets to another device, to another device. So this device is uh, has also has two 10G network interface, and uh, I use uh, Linux uh, uh, network bounding uh, as a 20G interface. So so just send this uh, from this uh, test PMD bounding interface to the Linux bounding interface, and uh, uh, so this is the receiving side. This is the sending side. Okay. So yeah, let's go to the demo uh, here. So this is my this is the server I'm going to use for test PMD DBDK test PMD to send the traffic, and uh, as you can see, I have. Uh, I have a, a, a one. Uh, I have a Intel uh, Intel 10G NIC uh, network card. Uh, it has uh, two port. Each port is 10G. Uh, so I will use test PMD to bound these two device to send a packet. Uh, with uh, 20 G uh, capacity. Okay, so this is my another server. It also has a has a, a two, dual 10 G network interface. Uh, on this interface, on this uh, server, I'm going to use the Linux network bounding. Uh, 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 to, as a 20G network interface to receive traffic. Uh, so I can show you this is uh, how the this is the Linux network bounding. So so this is a Linux network bounding interface bound zero. Uh, I'm using uh, the link aggregation uh, bounding mode and uh, yeah since we are only use this as a receiving receiving side so we don't uh, uh, this one that is not relevant here but but uh, just in case if you want to use network uh, Linux network network bounding uh, this transmit hash policy uh, is to uh, layer three and four, meaning you use the IP layer and the TCP or UDP layer header information as a uh, as a hash policy to select the uh, slave interface for packet transmission. Um, yeah, so for example, I have two uh, slave interface, ten uh, G slave interface. This is one. This is another one. So if you want to use the Linux network bounding to, to send the traffic, it will use this layer 3, layer 4 information as a hash uh, to, uh, to select the, uh, which interface, uh, which slave interface to send, uh, to send the traffic. OK, so that's enough about the Linux, Linux network bounding. We can talk about it more maybe later. So let's now do the demo on the DBDK test PMD side. So I'm going to start the. So this is how I start the uh, test PMD uh, application DBDP, DBDK application. Uh, I have skipped the the uh, compiling part. So. Yeah, um, maybe I can do more about how you compile, but it's pretty straightforward. So, so this time I'm going to do the demo. Uh, just started the application. So this is this is how I started as a interactive mode.
Okay, so I started it, and uh, as you can see here, the, uh, those are uh, uh, the the DBDK uh, uh, like a library network driver to prop in the uh, PCI device, PCI device uh, for the 10G network port. So yeah, so you can look at it and uh, uh, so basically here. It the network driver, the DBDK network driver configured uh, port zero and port one, uh, uh, each with is a ten G network port, um, right? So yeah, so port zero, port one, right? So we don't have the port two yet because we're going to set up manually, set up the bounding manually. So now, now let's set up the. Uh, I have the instruction here. Uh, actually, you can. There is a. So if you look at a. So there is a menu, a test PMD application user guide. So you can follow the menu. And set up a bounding. Right. So you can follow the instruction here. To set up the bounding, and uh, so I'll do this. Uh, I already have those command uh, available here. So first, I'm going to create a bounding bounded device part two. Okay, so I. I already have a port zero, port one, so I'm going to cre create a port two uh, on socket zero. So create a a bounded device. See here, it says uh, create a, a bounding device, and then I'm going to add a slave port to the bounding device. So the, basically, I'm I'm uh, uh, add the a slave uh, port zero to the bounding device two. Again, add a slave port one to bounding device two. Okay, so then I'm going to set the bounding mode as a link link aggregation, which is to add the add the two port. Uh, together to send the traffic. So, so mode mode four link link aggregation and uh, set it up, set it the primary the primary slave port for the bounding port two. Set it the primary port zero as set it the port zero as a primary. I'm going to so this is uh, where I set the the forward mode as a transmission mode only, which is only send traffic, not receiving traffic. Okay, and uh, so I also needed to start the each port uh, manually. So let's start each port zero one two. One, two. As you can see, it shows the uh, bounding port uh, has uh, started, and uh, I also needed to set the uh, destination uh, peer the peer MAC address for each uh, for each port. So, for example, my on my receiving device, uh, the the bounding device has uh, this is the bounding Linux network bounding device. It has the MAC address here. So I'm going to use this as the peer MAC address on the DBDK test kit PMD. So. Okay. 
you, I need to set it for each port. Okay, so now I needed to start uh, start each port. Start a port zero. Start a port one. Start a port two. Okay, we can show the uh, port stat that st port status. Okay. So we I just uh, show the show the bounding port two info and see so so the link is up link speed is a uh, twenty g okay okay so now I can st start sending traffic uh, yeah just the start of the traffic. Start sending traffic. To start it. Okay. So how do we check if the pack so this is a start sending traffic to the receiving side? So if we run TCP down on this interface. Uh, we should see some traffic and uh, also on this uh, slave interface we should also see traffic so let's uh, run a TCP down to check oh maybe the traffic is too big <laughs> 